Hello, Dr. Mark Daly here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we are building on our last video. Remember we said that the gastrointestinal system is like a second brain. We explored the connection between your brain and your gut and we saw that they originated from the same tissue. Uh, it is said that 60% of the immune system is contained within the gut and that if your gut were spread out, the surface area would be just about as large as a football field. I mentioned earlier that I really don't want to bore you with all the details of gut function, but at the same time, I want you to understand how amazing your GI system is and how it relates to good health and equally as important how it relates to chronic disease. Ultimately, I want you to understand the intensity and importance of gut function, what its job is and what happens when it breaks down. I'll also give you an overview of what causes gut function to break down. Then, of course, the whole program is meant to restore gut function, hormonal function, immune function, so on and so forth. And I want you to recognize that the gut function is the cornerstone, or as I like to say, it is the hub of the wheel. Gastrointestinal dysfunctions are probably the most overlooked and mismanaged disorders in the healthcare industry today. Traditional healthcare providers are seriously lacking in the ability to diagnose and identify structural gastrointestinal patterns. They're simply not trained to provide adequate lifestyle and dietary support and they have trouble linking the web-like patterns of these systemic disorders associated with the gastrointestinal tract. A good example of this is a recent survey from the American Gastroenterological Association. It states that symptoms of gastrointestinal tract dysfunction existed with no known structural, pathological, radiological, or laboratory findings. And that comprised 41% of the membership's practice. No doubt, these are patients that are told their gastrointestinal systems are normal and, of course, suffer from chronic health dysfunction. The identification and treatment of gastrointestinal disorders is currently doomed to fail if treatment involves traditional drugs like anti-inflammatories, antacids, or enteric nervous system inhibiting agents. These approaches definitely do not address the underlying causes or the triggers for these dysfunctions. Instead, the drugs are trying to give immediate and temporary relief to cover the symptoms. It's crazy for patients to take an anti-inflammatory for chronic and bowel or chronic inflammatory bowel conditions without looking for the triggers. In other words, why are they inflamed? in the first place. The main problem with the allopathic approach to gastrointestinal dysfunction is that it's based on the emphasis of suppressing symptoms versus really improving gastrointestinal dysfunction by removing the triggers, which is why we do the testing we do, which is the cause. This approach only leads to chronic dependence on medications that actually prevent the gastrointestinal tract from optimal health. Remember, I have, I don't know if you've, you've seen this uh, lecture I do, it's called The Perfect Storm, but in The Perfect Storm, what I, what I do is I relate how it's more profitable for the modern medical community to treat a chronic condition forever than it is to heal the cause of the actual problem. But anyway, let's cover some, some basics. The digestive system is a portal for food nutrients to get into the circulatory system, which relays it to each of the body's billions of cells. Now, before this can happen, food must be reduced to very simple molecules by a combination of mechanical and chemical degradation. These resulting molecules are the building blocks of life. Sugars, amino acids, fatty acids, which are then transported across the epithelial lining of the intestines into the blood. 
Now, this complex process is known as digestion. Therefore, the gastrointestinal system has to take the food from your plate and break it down into such small molecules that it can make its way through the gut lining into the bloodstream. And that may sound fairly easy, perhaps. However, it has also to uh, the job of protecting you from things that have no business being in the blood. So not only does it have to break down, digest, and assimilate your food, it has to protect you from that which would be harmful if it made its way into your blood and, of course, into your cells inevitably. There are three main barriers in the body, the brain barrier, the lung barrier, and the gut barrier. Actually, the, the skin is a barrier as well. But when these barriers are compromised, disease is the result. One of the main jobs of your gut is to keep this barrier from compromise. And compromise of this barrier is one of our main concerns for good health. The GI tract is connected to every major system in the human body. Over 60% of the human immune system is located in the gastrointestinal tract. The gastrointestinal tract communicates with every major receptor using its own intercellular mediators. It is responsible for the production of 99% of the body's neurotransmitters. Folks, neurotransmitters have to do with your happiness, with your sadness, with your impulses, with your mood, with your personality. So in addition, the GI tract has a very high metabolic function impacting nutrient absorption, elimination of toxins, which toxicity is a big issue, hormone metabolism, energy production, and much, much more. So we're going to talk about the GI tract and its role as it relates to pain, inflammation, functional hypothyroidism, autoimmune disorders, adrenal stress syndrome, anemia, mood, uh, inability to lose weight, food allergies, cardiovascular risk, neurodegenerative disorders, and chronic fatigue. So if you will, hang in there with me. I didn't want to, to present this as one big program because I feel like it would just take too much of your time at once. I don't want to bore you, so I'm trying to keep the segments to right around six minutes. But thank you for your time and your attention. Think about what, we're, what, what I'm teaching. You can watch this again to uh, just get it real fresh and in, uh, impactful in your mind. And we'll talk again very soon. We'll continue with the program. Thank you.